In this lecture, we'll implement the fields and properties in our FISH class. As a reminder, here's the piece of the class diagram that we're implementing in this lecture, so let's go write some code. You can see in the project that we're starting from that I have a number of components already included. Really, all of those are to support the explosion we're going to use when we blow up the fish, and I also have a sprite for the fish down at the bottom. So I'll start by creating a fish game object by simply dragging the fish over into the hierarchy window, and I will rename it with a capital F. And we've designed the script, the class, that we're going to attach to this fish game object. So let's add that script. And of course, we'll open it in modern develop. So here's our template script. I will add a documentation comment for the class. And at this point, we're only implementing our fields and properties. So our two fields are the prefab explosion that will instantiate when we explode the fish and the damage value for the amount of damage that the fish inflicts upon whatever it hits. So the prefab explosion, I'm going to mark with serialized field because I want to populate it in the inspector. And of course, this is a game object. And because I know I regularly forget when I'm done coding to actually populate these fields in the inspector, let's go do that now. And of course, I haven't attached the fish script to the fish game object yet, so let's do that first. And now all I have to do is drag my explosion prefab onto the field for the prefab explosion in my fish script. So there, I didn't forget it this time. Now we can go back to the code. The other field we need is the damage we inflict, and that will be an int as we designed it. And we just declare the field just like we declare variables, except we declare it right after the open curly brace for the class. So this will be available throughout the class, including in all the methods and in all the properties, which is important because it's time for us to implement our property. So we want our property to be public because we want objects external to this object to be able to access the property. We'll make it an int because damage is an int. And we name properties with a capital letter. And in this particular case, we will only provide a get accessor for the damage. So we return the value of the field and I'll add the comment as well. Gets the damage inflicted by the fish. Now you could certainly imagine a scenario in which we want to allow the damage to also be set externally. For example, if the fish picks up a pickup that makes it more damaging, either permanently or just for a certain period of time, in that particular scenario, we would want a set accessor for this property as well. But as we designed our fish, we decided that we were only going to have a get accessor. Now, although this will compile fine, I never actually assigned a value to damage. And it turns out that in C sharp, an int field will default to zero, but we probably don't want zero for our fish. So let's actually give this a value. And let's say it is 100 at this point. So for items that it hits that have 100 health, this will be a one-shot kill for those items. Certainly, as we use our fish in the game, we could decide how to adjust the value for damage so that it integrates well with whatever game we've developed. But we should put some value here, and 100 seems like a reasonable value. 
That's it for implementing the fields and property from our design for our fish class, although we should run it to make sure that everything runs fine. And of course it does because nothing really happens at this point, so we'll stop running the game. To recap, in this lecture we implemented the fields and properties for our fish class, and we also discussed the fact that we need to populate serialized fields in the inspector as we build our fish game object to make sure our fish script works. So this is sort of a different thing compared to console app classes because we're really building a game object in Unity with a fish script attached. And we've designed the class to work as part of the game object.